we are going to renew the uv sterilizer filter first of all we have to switch off the power off you can see the power light is off so this sterilizer is of a pressure type so next thing is uh, what we need to do is we have to close both the inlet and outlet valve of uh, sterilizer filter both inlet and outlet valve has been closed for the uv sterilizer so once that is done you can start opening the filter cover you have to use a special type of spanner ratchet spanner you call it as you just open it so open it slowly so that in case if the valve is not holding the water will keep on coming so that you can either blank the valve or you can go for some other option so once a water coming out of the sterilizer filter is stopped that means valve is holding and you can completely remove the cover of the filter so now i am loosening it i'm just opening it there is no pressure in the line so i can open it fully so that's all this is the filter this is what you call it as a sterilizer filter and you can see the difference between new filter and the old filter you have to always follow the maker's instruction for the renewal timing of the filter usually every 2500 hours some makers will go for 5000 hours some maker will say you can clean it and use and you can renew it after certain time so okay so this is how we have to remove the filter so once we remove the filter na, then you have to clean the filter uh, casing inside with a clean rags so this is what uh, we are doing now we are cleaning the filter casing so clean it properly so that uh, whatever uh, dirt inside the casing will be removed this is the gauge glass means the side glass for the filter so we removed all the dirt which is inside the filter casing use always clean rags for cleaning uh, this casing okay so uh, after cleaning is done you have to flush the filter casing so how we are going to flush it's very simple just open the inlet valve of the filter very little just allow the water to flow through the filter so that whatever uh, dirt which is remaining will come out and uh, this is how you have to flush the filter after flushing you can close the inlet valve again so after uh, doing the flushing just uh, clean the side glass with a brush with a soft brush so that uh, the glass will be cleaned once that is done now uh, you can fix back the new filter so this is the new filter which we are going to fix and uh, very simple how you remove you have to fit it back along with the cover it will be little uh, uh, bigger so that you have to compress and uh, thread the sterilizer cover so that is what we are doing the filter is already in place so tighten the casing so you can see the gauge glass side glass uh, you can see the filter is visible so from here only you can make out uh, whether the filter is clean or dirty so again uh, tighten the casing cover with the help of uh, ratchet so that's all this is how uh, we have to remove the sterilizer filter and uh, renew the filter so once this is done again open the outlet valve first just open 
and then open the inlet valve slowly slowly so both the inlet and outlet valve of the filter is to be completely opened and then switch on the power for uh, UV sterilizer filter you can now see uh, yeah the power is on and you can see the green light glowing that means uh, the UV sterilizer filter is on